Here comes a box that reeks of geek. What's inside the new Bam Geek subscription box? I don't know, Tony. I, I, I don't know. I know we've rehearsed this already twice. And I recall in both instances telling you that you maybe don't want to describe a subscription box coming to your doorstep that reeks. I get you were very proud of yourself, the fact that you found a word that rhymed with geek, but maybe reek. I don't know. Just, I don't think it's the most complimentary thing to be saying. Although, if anybody understands what reeking is, it's producer Tony. Needless to say, the BAM Geek Box does do that, at least delivers geek, not necessarily reeks. Every single month, it delivers to your doorstep a box of geek, which may contain replicas, collectibles, and most importantly, autographs. If you'd like to have a box delivered to your door that doesn't reek, I want to put in very heavy quotations, does not reek, then click the link down below and you can subscribe to the BAM Geek Box today. We're going to go ahead and get the box opened up and check out the contents and dang nabbit, we're going to have a little bit of fun along the way as well. Producer Tony is still very proud of himself that I see him. He's look, I, I'm seeing you upstairs. You're, you're, you're chuckling to yourself. Yes. Reek rhymes with geek. We're all very clever around here. Producer Tony. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get the box opened up. It is a box for fans by fans. Probably not wanting to do that with a blade sticking out. We're going to cut the tape very quickly, very safely. Also, I might say. We're going to go ahead and open up the box, check out the contents. For some strange reason, we have ourselves a sheet of packing pillows, little tiny, little pop. Every, everybody does this. If you are somebody, for example, that opens up a box, finds themselves bubble, bubble wrap inside and doesn't stop to pop a few. I would be calling that person in. I believe that they're an alien from another planet. Everybody does this. Okay, let's put that to the side. Let's stop that nonsense. What is that uh, What is that bubble wrap for? I don't know yet. We're going to find out soon. We have the BAM show paper. Basically tells you exactly the stuff that you're going to be getting, or at least the company that's providing the cool things that we're going to be checking out inside. The cool trinkets. This is obviously the first thing that sort of has greeted us. So I would feel kind of wronged if I was to kind of overlook it and start looking at everything else. So we're going to open up this box first and foremost. And inside, we have ourselves a little tiny monkey. I'm not really sure the significance of this. It is rubber. I don't want to just assume that it's an eraser because it may just be the material that they decide to use. The only thing I can come up with right now is Jumanji. And I'm sure it's not Jumanji. Somebody already, I'm sure, is typing frantically to tell me down below what exactly it's from. We'll know soon enough, my friend, Mr. Quick to Type. We'll find out, we'll find out shortly enough. The first thing we're going to look at, though, is the BAM... Well, I guess the second thing, second thing we're going to be looking at is the BAM Geek Box pin, which is from March 2021, telling us, of course, the month that that's being pulled from. And there's Papa Smurf. Is this like COVID Papa Smurf? He hasn't had a chance to go out and get a properly groomed beard. It looks like he's a little shaggy in the beard. Well, I can't, I can't necessarily find fault with that because I think we're all looking a little shaggy right now. I've been desperately waiting for my barber to open up and I think I may have to wait several more weeks after the time of shooting this video. I'm going to look a little like Papa Smurf, though I don't have that hat and my skin really isn't technically blue. This pin is a limited release, and just to also indicate that this fan art pin has been created exclusively for Bambox and inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There's a limited number of pins created. Once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made. Let me just express this very clearly. Never made ever, ever again. I know I just added two evers that weren't technically written in there, but I just wanted to, again drive home the idea that those pins are never going to be released ever again. Moving on, we have ourselves what looks to be, that looks like Two-Face. I'm trying to think of anyone, uh, any other person out there that's scarred on one side. Somebody right now is yelling the Phantom of the Opera. Well, it's, it's debatable. Phantom sort of had it around the top half of his face. That's why he wore the mask up here. I think it's Two-Face, I believe, uh, on the back. 
It says, congratulations. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists, Ali, artist Ali Artists. This card is part of this year's Villain series. Again, suspecting it's probably Two-Face. We also have ourselves this scratch card. How will we luck today? Lady Luck, I hope, is smiling down on me right now and just sort of winking, saying, you got this. You got this. I hope you're right, Lady Luck. Let's go ahead and scratch the first one using my very crude nail clippers. I assure you, they're not used for anything else than to cut the twist ties on these packages. No, you'll find cleanliness all around this reviewing station. You won't find these being used for clipping anyone's nails, fingers, or toes, and you certainly won't find any mustard on these fingers, these digits here. Scratching off second slot, second space. Ah, uh, you know, Lady Luck, if I can just stop for stop you for a second. Uh, she's apparently just ran out of the room. She totally led me on. Thinking me that I had a chance that I was going to win something here. She like totally said, you got this. I got nothing. I got robbed. What I could have won was a slabbed... What does that say? Coriac? Cornic? What is that? Comic! Comic. It pays to scratch everything. A free slabbed comic... CGC or CBCS. I could have also won a free autographed Funko Pop. Didn't win that either. Nor did I win a BAM Ultra free BAM Ultra box. That's okay. The fact that I'm winning though with all the other contents we're going to be looking at inside, I'm super looking forward to seeing what autograph we have. Starting first, we have Destro, my dear Cobra Commander. It looks like he's stuck in snow with a substantially large head. That's going to be a problem for Destro, I think, to get around anywhere with a head already made of metal. And then, of course, having it that size. This is out of a 2200 release, and it has been signed by the artist, indicated down below. A nice little kind of inked sketch of Destro. Destro's a cool guy. Didn't like Destro, though, in the original Rise of Cobra. I don't, I don't know. I think they could have picked a better Destro. And then we've got ourselves an autograph. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, the BAM box presents the Geek Monthly Giveaway. Up for grabs is the Amazing Spider-Man 311 signed by Tom Holland. How about that? How do you win? You can post a picture with your favorite item in the BAM in the box using hashtag the BAM box. Winner will be announced 04-15-21. Little late on my part getting that done. I'm so sorry. And then, of course, we have ourselves an autograph. Now, this is, I believe, well, it says zero. Is this one of the bounty hunters? Is it from Mandalorian? I'm drawing a bit of a blank. Uh, I do like at the top, it says brought to you by BAM. They're really up upping their game by putting the, the autograph actually sl slid inside something that they've branded by BAM. It is the, uh, I guess, the actor who is underneath all of this. But again, I'm trying to pinpoint where I've seen this character before. Frantically, somebody's typing down below. The Beckett Certificate of Authenticity, the corresponding signed item, has been subjected to examination by an expert from Beckett Authentication Services and has been deemed authentic and genuine. This authentication can be verified using www.beckett-authentication.com and utilizing the below authentication number in the designated area. Certificate number is Z37141, which is not really relevant to you guys. We got ourselves, though, an autograph. Let's see what else we have in here. Bam featured celebrity known for the Mandalorian is Chris Bartlett, who have played, uh, I guess, this character right here. He kind of, for example, quickly looking at it, it looks like that guy that was from Drew Carey, who also was the voice of Batman in Batman Brave and the Bold. Anybody know who I'm thinking of? I think he was also in Office Space. He was the neighbor on the other side of the very thin wall where the main character lived. On the back, there again, bam, featured celebrity. Now let's check out the insert card that came included, if I can actually pick it up. See if anything else is in there, no. Uh, we have a scratch it when it advertisement. If you match all three symbols, you win that prize. Or if you're really lucky, scratch off an instant winner symbol and instantly win a prize. Prizes range from upgraded box to flat screen TVs and PS4s. You can also jam the, join the BAM community by visiting us over at thebambox.com if you want more BAM. Show off your BAM items. Again, take a photo of your favorite item from the BAM box. Post it on social media. 
and tag us using your photo use hashtag Bammer and hashtag your guild. Uh, we'll randomly select winners for free giveaways, but let's check out the contents that would have been inside this month's box. Starting first for the March 2001 box, 2021 box. Celebrity autograph, this is the way, adding to our Star Wars collection this month, we are thrilled to be able to get Chris Bartlett, who plays several droids in the hit series, The Mandalorian. His roles include Zero, the Q9-0 droid, the RA-7 droid, the teacher droid, and others. Being a huge Star Wars fan ourselves, we jumped at the chance to be able to feature a Star Wars autograph in our box. We hope this starts to add to your collection. For collector's pins, a slightly shaggy Papa Smurf. Saturday mornings was never complete growing up without watching the feel-good adventures of the Smurfs. While we enjoyed the movies, we wanted to feature the 80s cartoon version with a pin set designated by artist Tim Ryan. Most of you will receive Papa Smurf, but there is also the Gargamel Smurfette or a black and white Smurfette. I tell you though, that, that Gargamel would have been fantastic to be able to add to my pin collection. As for the artist alley, professional artist Mark Melton feature or created two G.I. Joe art prints featuring Snake Eyes and Destro. While we are fantastic pieces of art on their own, you can collect both and create a full scene of Destro and Snake Eyes in an epic battle. As for the prop item, 80s kids will remember the terror and excitement that the game, the game of Jumanji summoned. Yes, I wasn't wrong. Um... Now I lost my tray. Oh, there we go. With that in mind, we replicate the four game pieces used in the original movies. Collect the whole set of the monkey, the elephant, the rhino, and the crocodile. And I did get myself the monkey. Very, very cool. As for the artist select card, we're continuing our year of villains from all our favorite franchises. This month, we present Two-Face from Batman, brought to you by artist Sean Langley. Look for the limited edition hollow foil card, which would be this one right here, the hollow foil version. Quite a stacked deck of things we got inside this month's box of geek. Again, if you would like to purvey some rather interesting collectibles, replicas, and again, autographs, you can click the link down below and subscribe to BAM. From there, you can designate for yourself which BAM is best for you by clicking, well, I subscribe to the geek and the horror, but there's a whole box of, whole series of different BAMs that you can actually choose for and get the best that's delivered to your doorstep. While you're also in the market of subscribing to things, a shameless plug for this channel, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below, that you're turning the bell notification on, and that you're, yes, coming back to this channel regularly, because there's always new content that's popping up. Keep your peepers peeled, members of the mob. Enjoy the fresh, free brisk that we offer here around the clock, except for the times that we are actually closed. So sorry for advance for the people that are coming later in tonight and realizing that the studio is already closed. So it's not technically around the clock. But there's lots of stuff always coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.